Okay, what's up and welcome back to the channel. This is the Procon Geek and we're still continuing with the Flash Lab design series. So if you remember in the previous video we took care of strip A in the AOX direction and we even left the notes in auto auto pads, right? That is the Procon pad system where we said we needed in the column strip white colors at 400 at in the bottom and in the middle strip we needed white colors at spacing of 200 and then at the top both in the middle and the column we needed a spacing of 200 millimeters and we left the nodes now what we need to do is go back and we now need to take care of strip b so without wasting too much time let's just get right into the video okay so by now i think you're quite familiar with the steps that you need to come up with the slab strips and also the column strips so as you remember just to recap right this is now phase we now need to go to phase four because we're now looking at strip b so phase four establish your middle strips in this point then you skip all these other steps then you isolate uh, central strip b so remember those strips are the same they're identical and in this case it's 5000 right the entire slab strip so you'll be good to go and once you do that, once you isolate it, then what you're going to do is create your column and your middle strips. So the column strip is 2500 and the middle strip when you add 2050 and 2050 you get 2500 again. And remember the slab depth is still 250 and everything else is still the same. So we jump to program and whilst you're now in program, right, we had saved this now, change it to, as you can see where my mouse is, strip B direction LX. So what we need to do is change this box, change it to strip B direction LX. And if you're skeptical, just I'm gonna click save as as you can see, we all have this different files. So it is what it is. I've done it for you just to save time. So remember the inputs are still the same. If you want to see how we came up with this, please go back to the previous video. Well, in this case, let's go to sections. And in this case, what we've done is if we go to AutoCAD, what is the length of the strip? It is definitely 5,000 and the depth is 250. So we get to go in terms of the spans. We only have two spans. Indeed, yes, we only have a span between one and two and between two and three. So we're good to go. And for the supports, remember, we talked about this in the previous video. So these are the supports that we're going to use 300, 300, 300, 230, 230, 230 next we're going to be looking at the loads in this case we go back to the excel file and everything is still the same length is 5 so it's definitely 5.75 so this one is good and 10 is 10 is good and remember we don't have any wind load so we're good the next thing that you want to do is click on view once you click on view what you're going to see is the elastic deflections the maximum deflection that you have is 1.086 and if you go down you have 4.689 this is all good. You don't even have to worry about it. There's moments in the still we talked about this. You don't even have to worry about most of this. All it's just telling you is that in this case, the concrete section will not be able to take care of the moment that is there. So you definitely need to provide steel that is greater than the capacity of um, the concrete section. So what you need to do is just click to reinforce it. And this is where we start to play around with things. So once you go to reinforce it and you have your detailing parameters there, so remember, we're gonna, we always start with the flat, with the column strip, rather, and then we go to the middle strip. So what we do is everything seems to be in check, nothing seems to be wrong. Is maybe we can just change the cover to the sides. Bar mark is correct. Next, width of the column strip, if you want, you can always verify. It is definitely going to be 2,500. This one is in green. Yes, it's 2,500. So you are good to go. Next, you have to do is create generate reinforcement. Then existing bars will be overridden. Click on yes and there you go voila you get to go remember this is the column strip remember we detailed it as part three so go back to main reinforcement once you're back in the main reinforcement tab it tells you the number of bars that you need for each section so just important to note is that uh i think eight white covers at the bottom is too much so i'm just going to change it to six right change this to six and yes you're still good the moment is still taken care of but at the top, yes, you're just taking care of that just by a bit. So you're going to have eight white cows and four white cows. That means 12 bars at the top. And by now, I think this translates to a spacing of white cows at 400. This translates white cows at 200. But just to double check, go back to Excel and you'll see what we can do. So once back in Excel, the width of the slab strip is still 5,000. And the column strip, definitely 2,500. And middle strip, definitely 2,500. And what it just means is, in this case, if we're going to go down, let me see, let me see. Oh, we're still dealing with a column strip, so we need to see if it's six bars, it's definitely 400. And if you put 12 bars, it's definitely 200. So it now means you go to pads, 
and in this case we're going to take it to this direction now so va copy everything and copy it and then once you go in this case uh, for the mid strip i'm not too sure so let me just copy for the column strip because uh, for the mid strips i'm not too sure and i'm just need to move this to the side because we're now dealing with this is strip b and copy it to this point as well so when it comes to the bottom we definitely need white gloves at 400 and at the top we also saw that we need white gloves at 200 so we are good to go in that we don't have any errors or we haven't made any mistake now we need to verify for the middle strip what we're going to need so you do that go back to Procon. once you're back in Procon, what you need to do is go back to detailing parameters and in this case you now need to change this from three to four and generate reinforcement once again existing bars will be overwritten and you just click on continue and in this case it seems we're going to need 12 bars at the bottom and 12 bars at the top that translates to a spacing of 200 either way so it seems we're still the same roughly the same roughly the same so we're just going to copy there and b3 again so that we remember our nodes and we copy it to this point and same applies ba then b3 then we copy it to this point and b3 we copy it to right sorry about that copy it to this point and we get to go so as you can see now we have an idea of the steel that we need in strip a then this is strip b and strip b now we need to do with the last external strips and that is what we're going to be seeing so to do that we can either do it in this video which i think is okay because we don't have too much time so let's just do it in this video and wrap up and in the very last video we just start detailing okay so to wrap things up now we're just looking at phase five which is strip c in this was supposed to be LX, not LY, because remember we took care of everything in the LY. So this is LX. So as you may already know from now, you start off with this layout, establish your midpoints, then clear to your create rather, create your slab strips. And in this case, that's 2,500 and you have 2,500 as well. And once you isolate the strip, remember L, the C is just the same for the two of them. You create your mid and your column strips. So both this 25, 20, 1250 rather, and 1250, and 1250, and 1250. Next, go back. Remember, the sub depth is going to be the same. We now need to go to Procom. So in Procom, luckily we have this. It's already open. Strip C in LX. Remember, the input is going to be the same. The first step we need to look at is the sections. So now, when you're looking at the sections of interest, is BW and D. So remember, D is going to be the same. The sub depth hasn't changed. So BW, this time around, you can just go and confirm. It's 1250 plus 1250 because definitely the strip is 2500. So that is what you enter. And now when you go to the spans, it hasn't changed since we're in the LX direction. You're still good to go. The supports haven't changed as well. Three supports, 300 and 230. Now when it goes to the lower, this is where it might need to change. Why does it need to change? If we go to the slab loads, remember the slab strip is now 2.5, not 5. So the load that you need to put is 28. 2.875 rather so let's go back to Procon and enter this so back in Procon, this is what you're going to enter so it's uh 2.875 then copy control c control v and you're going to just go and say this is going to be the screen load so type it out as whatever you want then control c and control v then when you come back you're going to say this is live load right this is definitely the live load and control c and you're going to go with control v and you begin to go so you got screen load screen load then live load and then live load once you're done do you have any window you don't so next thing is click on view okay this time around you see the difference is your deflection is no longer 4.6 it's now 5.656 this is owed to the change that you made from 5000 to 2500 which is explainable now remember the moments in shear we don't need to worry about this let's go back straight to reinforcement that is where we need and in this case, we need to start with a column strip. So change this, make sure, or just change it, make sure it's three. Everything seems to be in order except for 30 day. And next, just generate reinforcement and you're good to go. Now it says we need eight bars at the top and four bars at the bottom. All right, that is cool. So this is for the column strip. So go to pads. What you're going to do is four bars at the top. Wait, let's check. Four bars at the top, that is eight. And then that is four. So what we're going to do is we go to this change this to 2500 and just say you need four right don't worry whether it's four and eight 
so if it's four you spacing is 300 if it's eight your spacing is going to be 150 so four at the top no four at the bottom so that's 300 at the bottom 150 at the top so go back to pads what you're going to do is b3 so in the column strip it's saying at the bottom you need 300 right and that will be good we haven't done the mid strip it yet so we're just going to skip that then b3 take it to this position it's supposed to be this position so what i'll do is let me edit it so that it's clear so we're just going to ei then what we do is we would try and just make it like this right so b4 so it's telling us in this the column strip for this slab strip we need 300 and if it has the top we are going to need 150 so let's do that to make the notes quite visible to us and we change it to 150 and we get to go right so let's move it up a bit it's going to get crowded soon so b4 because we also need for the middle strip as well now since we have taken care of the column strip right and we are now sure that is what we want to do next step is also the same to the other side so just b3 put it there then b3 put it there as well next we now need to take care of the middle strip so go back to program okay once you're back in program what you need to do is go back to detail and parameters change this from three to four and generate reinforcement existing bars will be overwritten in this case it's eight and eight at the bottom so that is 150 right let me go to step yes eight is 150 so this is going to we need to copy the one that says 150 this one so we're just going to b3 it then copy it to there then we're going to ei and change this from call to meet just to represent it's a middle strip and b3 we're just now going to move it and push it there and then b3 since we or we can be a a lot of it as well then b3 and copy them to the side so now our notes are complete we now know the reinforcement that we need for each snap strip and then the one that we're going to use in the column strip so this is it when it comes to the design of a flash slab as you can see it is quite easy we are going to reinforce it then once we reinforce it we then check for the punching shear but in this one i'm quite sure we're not going to have anything that's too much because remember what we're having is we don't have any columns going above we're just doing a slab that has columns beneath it so in this case we're just going to detail it but i'm also going to show you the check how to check for punching shear but in our case it's very minimal so you're not going to be worrying about it but i'll just do it so that you understand it as well so without wasting too much time thank you very much for subscribing and i'll see you in the next video where we detail it which is definitely going to be phase six so we're now done with autocad so we're just going to file save it and now as we have saved it saving and saving next what we're going to do is we're going to be spending our time in autocad program pads as we did it in the fly stamp and detailing so once everything is done remember procon demo is the best for you when you have don't have a license and we have tutorials for procon demo everything is a demo so please get the software and procon please thank you very much for allowing us although i'm not sure I'm, i haven't been allowed as yet so i'm not going to say anything but thank you very much for making the software and i'm grateful i'm a fan of your software and yes i'm dragging on too long now so we're going to wrap the video at this point and i'm going to say to you uh, stay safe don't sneeze and please subscribe please like the video even if you downloaded it and didn't watch it on youtube as some of you do but next time please just go back subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video